What are you? Get it open. On it. Hey, you think he's gonna show? He'll bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. One of the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. Keep doing this. I have to. <laughs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed, the city is safer now. But it's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. Criminals in this city. <laughs> they need something to fear. <laughs> Shit! Hell he go! Whatever got in, don't let it get out. Back. Circle up! I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs>
Didn't your mother teach you to knock? Behind you, big boy. Heyday. Intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. <sighs> Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. No one else will. I'm the only one who gets the job done. Sounds lonely. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. I go to all that trouble for this? Shit! A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. God damn it! I said don't shoot him! No! Wait! <laughs>
Guess I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake, or yours. Give up! There's no way out! <laughs> Give me some credit. Bye, Bat. <laughs> Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Time to save the city. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. And even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Welcome to Wayne Manor, everyone. My apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle, so the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Relax, it was important. Not more than this. I know you despise these things, and truth be told, I do too. What, a chance to show off your teeth and talk about yourself to a room full of money? Say it ain't so. It's called playing the game, Bruce. And tonight, if you hadn't noticed, I'm playing for City Hall. No one came here tonight to see me. Some champagne. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> And I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent! We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This'll help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh, a new face for Gotham, hmm? Look at you. That's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband... Voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street. 
but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly, but this night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. Huh. I think I speak for half the room when I say politicians are puppets. Oh, come on now, Bob. I'm not a politician. I'm a crusader. Hmm? No strings attached. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. I don't doubt that for a moment. And don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne, in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible, truly terrible. Yeah, and tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you too. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale. Not interested. And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. No, no, it's all right. You can stay. Thanks. Bruce? This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. So formal. Call me Bruce. Well, Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Just between us, politics bore the hell out of me. Too many words, not enough action. Didn't think you were the type to get his hands dirty. Oh, you'd be surprised. Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? Yeah. It looks like... Oh, this? No, that's nothing. It just, uh... cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but, uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. <laughs> oh. 
And what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. I don't like this, Harv, but I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, just make sure this one doesn't hang you. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? Hey, <laughs> I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. Come on, Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man, I hear. Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. The guy who's gonna sell me his house. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. You should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple what Mayor Hill has... Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce? You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever you... Ah, ah, what did I say? Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just say any will. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move, and I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Oh, I'm everyone's friend. Which means you're really no one's. Pick a lane before you have a head-on collision. You listen to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. I think I'll have someone see you out. Okay. Okay. So that's how it's gonna be. People don't say no to me. 
Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. It's me. See what she was really after. Allegations that Dent may have actually been involved in the break-in. Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any water with the voters? Or will it be perceived as a desperate attempt from a flailing campaign to take down one of Gotham's most promising young politicians? And in other news, we are now on day three of the factory fire that will not end have given up trying to combat the blaze at the Otisburg Processing Center, owned by Ace Chemical. Still no word on what started the fire, but whatever's burning in there has resisted everything the fire department has thrown at it. They're recommending people avoid the area and seek immediate treatment if you happen to breathe in any of that tar black smoke. And one mobster's murder caused quite a headache for commuters this morning. The body of Falcone family capo... The back computer should be able to read whatever data is on that stolen drive. ...off the side of the 4th Street Bridge, sometime just before dawn, causing traffic to back up for miles as the cops cut him down. Random stabbings are the latest headache for the riders of Gotham's overcrowded Skyrail cars to contend with. Gotham police are investigating multiple cases of riders receiving abdominal wounds from an ice pick or other pointed weapon while pressed into the tight quarters with fellow passengers. A few have died, while most have been admitted to Gotham General in critical condition. The police don't have any suspects at the time. Two more patients have gone missing from Arkham Asylum. Nearly fell off a building for this? So important. And call police immediately. Damn, encrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave, in front of a computer. I'll leave as soon as I finish. 
People with regular jobs can do their work anywhere, but for me, this is my office. I agree. It isn't normal work. Even worse, the best outcome is that no one ever finds out you've done it. Yeah, well, good deeds usually go unnoticed. Uh, though not unappreciated. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. Think so. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. Yeah, thanks for the interruption. Well, it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried I might drink all my good scotch. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone. Thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully she's just a tourist. No, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins... Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. That's not the point. I want criminals to know I'm out there. Batman isn't hiding from anybody. I was talking about Bruce. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. I have a job to do, okay? A responsibility to this city. You know why I do this. For the car, I presume. Well, the car helps. Oh, yes, you drive that thing like a bat out of hell. Ah, <sighs> old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him... We were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. Do you think he might know something about the break-in? This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. Might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but <laughs> it's the fun kind of trouble. You both were. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. 
But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Thank you, sir. you, but no Oz. It isn't what it used to be. Watch Wallet Cash. But this goes through you. Hey, you heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? You're making a mistake. You already made one coming here. The next one kills you. End him! Gentlemen! Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. Are you uh, in the moment! Come here! You think that'll do? Uh, stay down!
This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. This is my park! Mine! You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey Bruce. You've got a little, uh... Yeah, good as new. Woo, that was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. You didn't need to take it so far. Some folks are fine hearing, Bruce. Others don't get the message unless it's beaten into them. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. Well, those were better days. That they were, yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. It's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce, I know. I'm sorry for it. But I had my own funerals to attend. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home, that oily... Oh. Wish I could have punched that grin into the back of his throat. No, 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 no. I only agreed to meet him because of Harvey. Beware of any man who smiles that much, Bruce. They're usually hiding a forked tongue. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are going to be on the upswing soon, though. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers.
Mr. Wayne, over here. Right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce! Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> We didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. But today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? For those with mental health issues, there are no cuts or scrapes. Their ailments are often invisible, but inside, they're suffering. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. My parents were heroes that night, and we can all learn from their sacrifice. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I say we leave the asylum standing as a reminder that we can do better. This time we won't fail those who need us most. All right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne, uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even shook his hand. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Uh, but Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father. Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? How dare you? I just finished telling you about my parents' murder and you accuse them of being, what, criminals? Have some decency. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What are you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? My parents were entrepreneurs, philanthropists, not common criminals. It's absurd. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. 
Damage control is my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn their lights off, keep a low profile. There's gotta be a mistake. That's what we're here to find out. Maybe we made a mistake. Maybe you did. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. And what do you expect to find? That's for our analysts back at the precinct to figure out. I can't comment. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. The DA is going to hear about this. Uh, unless Harvey becomes a mayor, there's not much he can do. Can't smile this thing to death. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Stay back! Take whatever you want! You... you don't have to do this! I didn't mean to interrupt, but... I'm a bit busy right now, Miss Vale. As you can see, Gotham's finest, not the best house guests. Yeah, the kind who steal things. Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old-fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet. And it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball, and ran. Carmine Falcone wants me to be in his pocket. He crashed Harvey's fundraiser and pretty much said, hop in. Well, maybe he thinks putting a little fear in you will make you jump. It won't. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, 
and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. The Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We have never had, and never will have, connections to organized crime. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Vale. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family... We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this, on the anniversary of your parents... It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? That press conference turned into a bloodbath. Yeah, someone's coming after me. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files... Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. He has no right to issue search warrants without my okay. You owe me an explanation. And I will get you one, straight from Mayor Hill's mouth. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? It just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? That is exactly what I intend to find out. Easy, Bruce. Ah, oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. We need to fight back. Hill cannot get away with this. It may not be a war we can win. The city will be behind you, Harvey, just like I am. There you are. Hey, you. Sorry. I got a habit of being late. No, no. Just glad you made it. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. I think we'd both welcome a change of topic. Harvey never mentioned you before. Oh, really? That's interesting. What was your name again? It's Selena. Selena Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, right. Sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. So, Miss Kyle, what brings you to Gotham? Business. Well, let's just hope she stays after what happened last night. I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Well, I sure hope whatever he took wasn't too valuable. Actually, it was. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh. Sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. And things like this happen in my line of work. People tend to overreact. 
And we should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. I'm sure your clients will understand. I doubt it. In my business, people aren't very forgiving. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. Nice to meet the real you. Likewise. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. You going to play nice this time? Well, that depends on you. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? Someone has to be the good guy. I suppose you think that makes me a bad girl? Well, aren't you? You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. As I recall, you took something from me, too. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use you. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's gonna cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not gonna lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. All right, you want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. <laughs> not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address. Now. No. Give me the drive. You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat. Not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've gotta run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. Alfred, I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard.
This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. Nothing left to bury. Analyzing. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. from the exploding canister. But I need to know what caused the explosion. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Something was here when the explosion occurred. been badly burned, but the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this?
sensors say it's an incendiary route. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. That bad? Face slashed. Throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. Never seen a bullet do that. A cop shredded this merc to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. Someone drove off after the explosion. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. Have you put it together? Yes. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned him down. Then things turn grim. 
Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Both targets could have been shot from here, but no phosphorus trace. Phosphorus spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. Hmm. Killing time. This is the right spot. So where did he go? Trey stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. Balcone, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing! You, you can't make me talk! Talk, and I spare you an ambulance ride. The police won't offer the same. Not to a cop killer. Rather chance them than talk to a clown like you! You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break! Your bones will. It's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Give me a reason to stop. You know, you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm. All on the inside. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. <laughs> Tell me! The cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Container by container! Someone must have heard us. Call the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. <laughs> oh, please don't. Oh, oh God. <laughs> I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals! There's some kind of explosive! A weapon! I don't know! Falcone said he'd use them soon! Used? Where? That's all I know! I swear! I swear! I told you everything I know! You're an animal! I was just here for a pickup! I swear! 
You're fat! <laughs> oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here! I think I need to call the coroner instead. It's Montoya. Send the cleanup unit to the docks. Warehouse 133. Tried to kill me. Who, who tried to kill you? The Batman. You're taking this too far, Bruce. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You beat that man half to death. Your parents didn't raise you this way. And neither did I. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. <sighs> Next time, it might be the morgue. Especially now, during this... <laughs> preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend... The burden of advice falls on me. Sometimes this job requires hard decisions. You're the right man to make them. In fact, I think you're the only one who can. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway... It made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. Well, back into the fray again. Well, looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... more than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering. Falcone's been involved in everything. But it goes back years. You see Dad's name on any of these documents? I'll run a search, but so far I don't. Wow. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. The cops are on the front lines of this war. Gordon needs this more than anyone. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. 
Gordon through the police? And Batman? By any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. This, this is a silver bullet, and it's gonna put Falcone down once and for all. I don't even want to know where you got this. No, you don't. Still, I gotta know one thing. Why give this to me? Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the hell out of this. Everyone on the force will too. This isn't about politics. Gotham is safer with Falcone off the streets. It's a first step in the marathon to fix this city. You know, as much as I appreciate you calling me here, I gotta make one thing crystal. I can't be bought. So you should know this isn't gonna change a thing about the investigation of your family. The Waynes always supported the Gotham police. So I like to believe there's no cloaks or daggers hidden in your closet. The investigation isn't the problem, it's the Wayne family name. Help me clear it. If your family's clean, I'll sing it from the rooftops. If they aren't, I'll still sing. You gotta understand, I'm bound to this badge. I gotta go. Came straight from a crime scene, haven't been home yet. Sometimes I think this whole city's a crime scene. We're just walking through it. What you're holding will make walking it much safer. Thanks, Bruce. Well, Lieutenant? Hey, stick to Jim. It's done. Good, so is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Although you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. Cameras and scanning tech are fully functional. All right. Let's find Falcone. Good point of entry. What's the difference between the Mafia and City Council? I don't know. Aren't they the same thing? Only one of them is organized. Ooh. <laughs> You're cute. So, uh, are you alone? Not anymore, I'm not. Where's Nikki? In lockup. Again? Christ, Kimmy. What did they pinch him for now? 
some hit down at the docks. Nikki? No. I didn't think he was a hatchet man. You and me both. Well, does he got an alibi? Honey, I'm always his alibi. Cameras. The entire floor is under surveillance. You'll be detected as soon as you enter. No time for subtlety. The white rose. Falcone's symbol. A red rose after tonight. Nothing here. That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Four armed guards. Stealth not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. of options for taking this guy down. Got it covered, Al.
your plan of attack. I'm going in. Very good, sir. Your turn to crash his party. Falcone, we can end this now. You got a lot to learn, kid. Explosives armed. Fire when ready. Spare yourself the pain, old man. Yeah, I've been through worse. I'll get you right at you, hot dog. The chemicals. Where are they? What? I found your calling card at the docks. The white rose. You think I wanted to lead you here? Yeah, something reeks about this old thing. And it is a dead bastard. Still want to play games? We're all being played here, including you. Those chemicals you're so riled up about, they're mine, all right? But someone is trying to cut me out of the deal, because I did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? No, we're done. Gotham's watching now. Go ahead, give him a show. I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning. Ha! Gotham! Ha! <laughs> 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 
Are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! Fire and smoke could reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years, but after this dramatic arrest and evidence released by the GCPD's Lieutenant Gordon, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about, the Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham. That this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here shaking hands with Carmine Falcone, may be just as crooked as his parents. In his defense, Wayne fired back saying, the Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We have never had and never will have connections to organized crime. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Waynes' time in the sun is ending. The suit. The car. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built! I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die! If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred!
When your parents died, they left me as caretaker of their estate, their son, and their secrets. I would never betray them. Your parents were good people, Bruce, no matter what that thug Falcone told you. Then swear to me, there's no truth to it. The evidence you brought me on Falcone held up. Maybe I misjudged you. Now Batman's beating up mobsters, too. I wonder who he's after next. Hell of a view! Bruce, the Wayne name is toxic. I have to do what's best for my campaign. What's best for Gotham. I have to... distance myself. I will find the truth. Along with anyone who stands in my way.